Hi Gemini, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your um, Gypsy Tarot Love Spread for um, November 2017. So we're not doing separate singles and couples at the moment because uh, very busy so uh, I'm just sort of doing the reading all in one. Uh, if I've got a chance I'll try and do some mid months uh, during the mid November okay but I'm a little bit up against it at the minute so that's not possible so let's have a look for you. you've also got your generals coming up for November and I'm working on your year ahead um, general live spread readings as well so universe spirit show me what's coming in for Gemini Sun Moon and Rising signs and love in November 2017 show me Gemini Sun Moon and Rising signs Gemini Sun Moon and Rising signs Gemini Summon and Rising Signs for Love in November 2017. Show me. Okay, let's split the deck into three. We'll collect that back up like so. And let's start laying the cards down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two three four five six and seven one two three four five six and seven okay right okay so um the general energies around you guys are the Ace of Cups reversed and Three of Swords. I feel unrequited love for some of you guys is bringing real heartbreak. And possibly some of you guys might be internalising this with the Queen of Cups energy in the reverse. I mean, I feel these cards are all very painful, all of them. Queen of Cups in the reverse is somebody who... Um, internalizes her feelings when she's in the upright she's great because she knows how she feels she can still internalize in the upright but the thing with the queen of cups in the upright gemini is that when she does internalize i've been her so many times whenever my heart's been broken in love i do this in the upright i work on my feelings so i work on trying to let go of hate let go of anger um in the in the reverse she blames the other person fully she takes no accountability at all when she's in the reverse in the upright we take accountability and we say okay so this situation didn't work out but what I'm going to do now and you can see that she's focused in on that three of swords there so even though she's hurting in the upright this lady will say okay and I've done this many a time myself so I know exactly how this woman is when it comes to love and I am a Scorpio as well so this is a Scorpio card Scorpio cancer card so Queen of Cups in the upright she'll take a situation you'll say right I'm really hurting about this let me try and sit down and think about what went wrong okay so I can see it from this person's point of view because remember she's an empath and a sympath Sympath. she's an empath and she's very sympathetic so she likes to put herself in other people's shoes she's a counsellor in the tarot so she's she can be quite impartial so what we tend to do as a Queen of Cups in the upright is we desensitize ourselves from a situation we take ourselves out of it emotionally whenever we're doing some form of assessment because they're all researchers and assessors the queens are and we say okay right this is what happened i'm going to work on it in this way i'm going to have a look at what, what part i played in this what part the other play person played in this and gradually over time you'll find that she starts to heal so over a broken heart this woman will heal yes unrequited love but over a broken heart you will heal with this queen of cups in the reverse in, um, in the upright in the reverse you're not healing what you're doing is unrequited love is causing hurt and pain with that three of swords and you're probably internalizing it with that queen of cups blaming other people uh sometimes this can be somebody who goes out and they're quite reckless and they drink a lot and what they try and do is kind of you know paper over the cracks in the reverse so for some reason the energies around some of you gemini's are you're not dealing with the situation very well because the ace of cups is in the reverse this is a being emotionally drained okay bringing heartbreak and the inability to kind of work through those feelings with that queen of cups reverse or this is unrequited love in the reverse bringing heartbreak and the inability to deal with the situation with that queen of cups and i feel that this in the reverse and i feel that this might be the energy around some of you guys going into november around you mentally and emotionally well there's the four of pentacles in the reverse four of pentacles in the reverse can mean two things um 
if you're dealing with somebody who's being quite selfish with you and somebody who's holding back then usually the four of pentacles reverse should show that somebody is starting to lighten up a little bit so they're taking their barriers down if you're dealing with somebody who was very possessive of you they were holding on to you um they were very very much in love with you it usually means with this four of pentacles they're actually releasing you okay so you can really for me go two ways with this card around this mentally and emotionally you guys are the queen of pentacles okay so you're dealing with this situation in a very pragmatic way and i think that something has been released here because mentally and emotionally what you're doing is you're being very pragmatic with that queen of pentacles and it's funny because the queen of pentacles can either be that you're being very practical or pragmatic or it can mean that you're seeking to nurture something she's one of the you get the empress card who rules kind of all of the queens in a way but there's two cards that refer to the queen of to the empress in the tarot quite solidly in terms of the queens and that's queen of pentacles and queen of cups because both cards represent very nurturing women all right very nurturing feminine energy and so the queen of pentacles can also be where somebody is still invested in a situation she's somebody who wants to nurture in the reverse it's all about me and i'm focusing on me i'm focusing on my life i'm focusing on my work i'm focusing on my money i'm focusing on making myself feel good again with this queen of pentacles i'm not focusing on anybody else but she's a sharer in the upright so mentally and emotionally it's either i mean you can still focus on your work and your money as a queen of pentacles in the upright as well but we want to see why this is sharing going up here well you've had a shock there's a tower moment that's coming so i feel that some of you guys here you've been released with that four of pentacles i think somebody's released you i think somebody's let you go the situation being released with this four of pentacles in the reverse and i think this is somebody who was really dedicated to you at some point gemini and i feel this person the situation is this person's being released and mentally and emotionally this queen of pentacles i feel now says that you guys are trying to be very very pragmatic and very um using your common sense in this situation with the queen of pentacles i don't think you're going to the point so far gemini where it's all about me 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 and nobody else at all because she's in the upright but there is certain certainly an essence of the need to just focus on nurturing perhaps yourself and nurturing those who are nearest and dearest to you mentally and emotionally because i feel that you've had a real shock with this the tower you weren't expecting it, it really shook you to your core in your present situation you've got the temperance card so this is all about trying to find balance and harmony and around that balance and harmony being the situation the present situation is the seven of cups well it's nice around this balance and harmony what it is is that you guys are experiencing the truth you're coming to reality over this situation so you're finding that balance and um, and harmony and equilibrium within yourselves with this temperance energy and also you guys are trying to do a little bit of a readjustment here with this um, with this temperance energy showing up as a situation because around that what you're experiencing is the truth coming to reality with that seven of cups in the reverse and what's the reason for that because of the six of cups in the reverse okay so the six of cups in the reverse is about living in the past but sometimes this can be about having those rose tinted glasses on to do with the past so this is a card about a lack of reality as well because sometimes you can look at the past and you take a trip down memory lane and what you say with that six of cups reverse is oh my god wasn't it so lovely when we did this and when we first met and our eyes met and you know we were all kindred spirits and there is the problem with the six of cups sometimes that you can go so far back in the past that you miss the reality of what life was like in the present or what it could have been in the future so this is about looking at things through with blinkered vision you know uh, through a haze and I feel that you are coming to reality because you have been looking at a relationship through a haze through an absolute haze and that's interesting so the good thing is so far you know what you know okay you're possibly mentally and emotionally trying to surround yourself with good people okay trying to nurture yourself you know getting plenty of exercise with that queen of pentacles in the upright trying to eat well with that queen of pentacles in the upright but you're doing all of these things because you've had a shock with the tower energy so this is more about damage limitation going on for some of you guys gemini and in the present situation as a result of that this is all about the situation is about trying to regain your harmony your balance your center your focus with that temperance and around that trying to balance out a situation here around the present uh, Gemini it's all about you guys coming to reality so this is more about your thought patterns that you're finding balance in terms of your thoughts because you know that you were in a relationship where you had the blinkers on completely with that six of cups in the reverse around your hopes 
well the ten of wands is the situation so there's been a real burden here with this ten of wands energy gemini and around that what are your hopes the two of wands in the reverse well the two of wands in the reverse is usually about a rift or a gulf in the and it's funny that it should show up as a hope for the reverse state of this card because this is all about um the way that i look at the two of wands in the reverse is that there is a gulf between two people okay um there is uh with this two of wands a sense of not being able to reconcile a difference with an individual with this two of wands reverse but also the two of wands reverse is also for me not to make any movements forward because in the uprights you're on a new direction you're taking a new direction and it takes fortitude and confidence to pursue that but your hopes would be i feel to be more cautious with this two of wands in the reverse and what's the reason for that because of the three of wands i think that you're looking into the future here i think that you're turning your back on a relationship here and now you're looking into the future in your expectations you've got the four of wands so this is about stability and happiness and engagements and love and uh, joy with this four of wands being the situation around that what are you expecting well wishes coming true with the nine of cups and what's the reason for that because of the page of swords and this is all about getting the truth so it's funny because one part of you is trying to do a little bit of damage imitation here in a situation that shocked you to your core and your hopes would be the two of wands so the two of wands is about a rift okay so if there is a rift here and your hopes are this two of wands it is about i think it's to keep yourself as further apart from the individual as you possibly can because the situation is about a burden around the uh hope situation and around that situation your hopes would be to keep an absolute i feel gulf between you and another individual here because i feel that you are trying to turn your back on the past and you're looking to the future and i'm noticing that this three of wands guy is looking straight at that six of cups in the um in the uh here i have to look at the direction of the card so why is he looking into the six he's looking into the past here and sometimes the three of wands can be all about where you an investment that you've made you're waiting for it to come back to you i don't get the impression that your hopes are to give somebody space with that two of wands and that's because you're looking you're waiting for something to come back to you from the past you've got reality on it but you're still waiting for it gemini i think you're still looking towards the past coming back to you because you're looking directly there you're looking directly into that six of cups in the reverse you're looking directly into the past you're looking at it and we can see here that you've been the situation around your present situation is trying to achieve balance with that temperance energy and around that this is the situation achieving balance but around that balance you're in the present you're coming to reality and that reality is that you were very focused on things or the way things were in a relationship in the past they were probably very good but you've had your rose tinted glasses on about the past however your hopes are the situation is ten of wands there's been a burden here and your hopes are possibly i feel to give somebody space with this two of wands create an area of space a big gulf between you guys because it might be that you guys are waiting for this person to come back i get the impression you don't want to push this person too far you don't want to push them for an answer you don't want to push them to come back to you okay because here mentally and emotionally you're coping very well but that's because of the shock here somebody let you go and though in the present situation you're coming to reality that you've possibly had rose tinted glasses on you're still in the past and you are looking for this past to come back to you which is why you want to make sure that you create an area of space between you and this individual because there's a huge burden going on here and in your expectations while the situation is about joy happiness abundance love and union and relationships you're expecting around that situation there to be a happy outcome a wish to be fulfilled because of the page of swords energy possibly clear communication possibly this person communicating with you you communicating with them in an honest way possibly acting on new ideas that you're that you're um, devising concerning this situation what's going on gemini around your hidden aspects well the seven of swords is showing up so i feel that the situation is about somebody who's being perhaps underhanded gemini and gemini i think the seven of swords is a gemini card so this can be you as a situation around that what's coming in well around this seven of swords is the five of pentacles i think you'll lose 
I think if you're, I'm not saying you're being manipulative, but I do feel that some of you guys have a game plan in terms of an individual here. And I feel that what you'll get with this Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles means loss. But it's, it's loss around here. So the Seven of Swords is a situation, an underhanded situation. Somebody's, not so much underhanded, but somebody's being very clever here and very calculating with that Seven of Swords. And what's coming in, what you can't see coming in around that Seven of Swords energy, the conniving sort of um, clever tactic type of card, is a loss with this Five of Pentacles. And what's the reason for that? Because this person is truly, well and truly not invested at all. There's no investing, in, no investment coming from this person. We've got Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Everything is one-sided. So no, no matter what it is that you're trying to do, and I think that some of you guys, Gemini, I've got to be honest, are trying to be very, very subtle in how you're treating this situation. Very subtle, because it's almost like somebody did something here, and it shocked you to your core. But you're holding up well on the surface, but underneath, you're not. You're seething, and you are internalizing a lot of pain. But... I get the impression some of you guys really want this person back and you're willing to play the long game to do it. But it's saying in the hidden fact as well, this is you, Gemini, is a Seven of Swords card. So it's saying, you know what, actually, actually, the situation is about somebody who's being very clever and very cunning and they're doing everything underneath the radar. But around that, what will come in is loss, Five of Pentacles, rejection. Five of Pentacles, and why is that? Because this other person, Gemini, it could be a um, top-tier Earth sign, uh, 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 Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person really is not invested at all in this situation at all. So no matter how subtle you are, and how clever you you know you want to be, and how tactic you know tactical that you want to be around this situation, it's probably not going to pay off the way you want it to pay off. The immediate future shows the Six of Swords in the reverse. So this is all about... There's two ways to look at Six of Swords in the reverse. It can either be somebody coming back to make an apology, somebody changing their mind, uh, or it can be that you're stuck in the past, you've not moved on. So the situation could be about not moving on. And around that, what you'll experience coming in, though, that's interesting. Page of Cups. Page of Cups is love. So this is either... If the situation is not about, is about you guys not moving on, then around that, what's coming in is still this vision of love. This fantasy, which Page of Cups can be of love. And what's the reason for that? Oh no, I think that somebody's changing their mind here. There's two ways I could look at this. I could say that the situation is not about moving on. So some of you guys, it might be that the situation is you haven't moved on. And around that not moving on, what you're experiencing is still those feelings of love with the Page of Cups because you still feel an emotional connection with that Two of Cups. For some of you guys, it could be the Six of Swords being the situation. Somebody turns around and changes their mind because around that, it might be that somebody's contacting you. They're sending you a nice message with the Page of Cups. Well, what's that message that they want to reconnect with the Two of Cups? The overall outcome shows the King of Swords in the reverse. This is a liar. And unfortunately, no, no, this is Aquarius. So this could be you. I'm not calling you a liar. Please don't think that, Gemini. I'm not. But usually the King of Swords is... I don't think this is you, though. The King of Swords would be a deceiver in the reverse. This is somebody who doesn't tell the truth. And this is somebody who's got some hidden agenda. And usually the words that the King of Swords is speaking to you in the reverse, it's all for themselves. It's a highly manipulative card. So the situation could be around a deceiver and somebody who's trying to manipulate you being the situation around that energy what's the overall energy well the ten of pentacles shows up here so the situation is about a deception but that deception is around the relationship the home the ten of pentacles and what's the reason for that because of the eight of swords somebody's confused or they're bound or they haven't got a way out of something here I think if somebody changes their mind and wants to reconnect with you um, and they're communicating with you, I'm seeing communication coming in for some of you guys, but I think there's an agenda for this communication. I don't think it's because of love. All right. Um, I'm getting here that somebody, this situation being the King of Swords in the reverse, somebody who's communicating with you, but they're not communicating. There's dishonest communication being the situation, and it's around this relationship long-term relationship ten of pentacles and that's because somebody is bound this eight of swords somebody can't let go or i don't think it's not being able to let go i think somebody's 
not got anywhere else to go or um there's there's a problem they're tied to something here with the eight of swords i want to see if we can get clarity on what the eight of swords is about what's the eight of swords about in the overall outcome what's the eight of swords about in the overall outcome in two cards while well, the page of cups in the reverse and the five of swords Page of Cups in the reverse shows somebody who's isolating themselves or somebody who rejects you. Okay, so maybe a rejection has brought severance. It's because somebody's bound here, and that's because a rejection has brought severance here with the Five of Swords. There's communication here, but this is dishonest communication through the King of Swords in the reverse being the situation. So dishonest communication dishonest communication is the situation. Around that situation of dishonest communication it's about a long term relationship, a relationship being built. And why is that? Because this person is confused. What are they confused about? That the rejection, a rejection in love has brought about severance. Or rejection in love has brought the need to take the upper hand in the situation. Or somebody who's not truly offering love is actually manipulating maybe the situation with that five of swords. go through this reading again I don't know who's doing this here whether this is you or whether this is this person here because I don't think you would be dishonest in your words Gemini it's got to be the other person because they're not invested here six of pentacles reversed and what's coming in is a liar a deceiver seven of swords but this is you I'm not, I'm not calling you a liar okay I'm not doing that I'm saying that this is manipulation seven of swords is the situation in the hidden factors in which around that manipulation what's coming in is loss because somebody is not invested with that six of pentacles okay so I don't feel that you're lying or deceiving anyone I just think that for some of you Gemini's what you want to do is you want to hold on to an individual you say that you're moving on and that you're okay but you're not okay because the energies of this around you Three of Swords is also, I've, no, no, this is the Libra, sorry, Three of Swords is, it's not Gemini, it's Libra. I get the impression in this reading you're trying to keep a stiff upper lip, Gemini, but it's hard. It's really hard because I think that you are giving all of the appearance of being okay, but you're trying to limit the damage of whatever this person's done. But for some reason, I get the impression that this King of Swords in the reverse is definitely not you because you're just doing a bit of a small manipulation with that seven of swords you when I say manipulation you're trying to find a clever way to get somebody back or to have somebody come back but I feel around that what you can't see coming in will be lost five of pentacles and that's because or lack because this person's not invested and that's what's coming in but it's not saying that this comes before this. This is what could be coming in towards the end of November or even December time. But in the meantime, what you'll have is somebody who is changing their mind. Six of Swords in the reverse, I feel, being the situation. And around that changing of mind, it's about communication. It's about their feelings. Page of Cups. So the situation is, I feel Six of Swords, somebody's returning. And they're changing their mind with that Six of Swords in the reverse. And around that changing their mind situation, this is about their feelings, Page of Cups. Because they do say that they still feel a connection to you. But the overall outcome is this person. The situation is somebody's being deceptive here. It's not you, it's the other person. And what's that deception around? Well, it's around the Ten of Pentacles. And why is that? The, the relationship, is it money, for example, the Ten of Pentacles? Is it a safe place to be? Because this person feels bound. And why do they feel bound? Why do they feel frustrated and limited and restricted? Because they know that if they cut you out, 
if they don't offer love if they reject you with the page of cups then you're going to sever all ties with the five of swords oh i did pull another card and this showed up in the reverse i feel that they know that if they reject you you will put limitations up around them coming back again this person i feel is keeping their options open when i look be between the lines i think that they're keeping their options open because you will limit them from coming back you will cut them out from coming back so they know if they reject you you're going to limit them from coming back they're not going to be able to come back and they know that if you really do put your feet down foot down you're going to say no again so they're leaving their options open they've already done it here but they're thinking shit this person to me looks like they're like oh fuck what have i done I, I want to leave my options open and it might also be that they are you know they're frustrated and bound here yes because they know that let me just ask you as well what else is it that this person's worried about with the eight of swords this other person what is this per other person worried about with the eight of swords as well what is this other person worried about with the eight of swords in two cards from the top of the reading that tried to flip out before did you see whenever something tries to flip out i never take it at first i always put it back in so i was taught always five of cups release they're worried about you releasing them five of cups in the reverse yeah release and letting go completely and giving up this person's really worried about you completely letting them go why are they worried about the five of cups reverse and the ten of swords reversed why is this person worried about the five of cups reverse and the ten of swords reverse show me one to two cards it's saying because of the page of pentacles but it's reversed and this is laziness in the reverse i think it's because they've been lazy in expressing or showing their feelings maybe that king of queen of cups i think they've been lazy and emotionally restrained with that queen of cups and the strength energy the strength energy in in um, love often means when you're holding back when you're um tempering your inner urges this person whoever it is gemini seems a bit fucked up to me to be honest with you because they've released you here they have released you here and i think that you've been very careful not to show them that you care even though you do and i think these hidden factors showing up are saying that this is going to come in at some point this area is going to come in at some point it's not going to show up in november probably but it will come in because your tactics to show that you don't care and to really hide how you do feel at some point is going to result in loss coming in five of pentacles lack because this person really isn't invested they're not they lack any investment in you and they don't really care they've got some ulterior motives i'm trying to find what the fuck this is why i kept drawing cards i really wanted it to show me what is this person's absolute ulterior motives and because the ulterior motives seem to be about the self all i can think is that this person is some kind of a narcissist because narcissists hate it when you're happy a narcissist will let you go and that narcissist will expect you to cry cry and cry forever they really really will they hate it when they let somebody go and that oh, that person that they let go gemini is able to stand on their own two feet narcissists hate that so when a narcissist sees that you can stand on your own two feet they don't want you because narcissists unfortunately there are different types but a lot of narcissists don't like it when they, they like to have power and control and i get the impression looking at this reading somebody wants to make sure that they've got the last word on you and this is why this area is saying well this will come in at some point probably this person wants to break you down they don't want you to be happy let's get the reading again it's very very interesting reading 
you know, there's been unrequited love, I feel, with this Ace of Cups in the reverse. And I think it's brought real heartbreak with that Three of Swords. And I feel that the energies around you guys, you're going to be really internalising those feelings with that Queen of Cups. But you're doing it very, very, very well, Gemini. Because I feel the situation around your mental and emotional, wow, the Four of Pentacles, I think that somebody did drop the ball here. I think that somebody released you. And I feel around that mentally and emotionally, you're being very pragmatic. You're being very level-headed with that Queen of Pentacles. You're working on yourself, possibly eating right, going to the gym, getting on with your work. You're just trying to grow as an individual here. But that's because of the tower. I feel that for some of you guys, it rocked you to your core and it probably made you um, reevaluate certain things about your life. But also because you have been rocked to your core. And also, I feel that this is somewhere along the lines, looking between the lines, this is about damage limitation off the self. In the present situation, you've got you guys, the situation being trying to achieve some harmony and balance within the self of the temperance energy. And around that harmony and balance being the situation, the present situation, you guys are experiencing a reality check with that Seven of Cups. And that's because some of you guys might be realizing that you did have rose tinted glasses on about the past with the Six of Cups in the reverse. However, in the hopes, while well, the situation is about a burden that you guys are carrying and around that, your hopes would be perhaps to keep that gulf, to keep that distance between you and another individual. Because it could be that you are still very much attached to the past and you're not really seeing the truth. Page of Swords right behind you there. In your expectations though, You've got the Four of Wands. And this is why I feel that even though you are wanting a gulf between you and an individual, because you are still very focused on the past here, you do still expect something around the past. Because in your expectations, it's about happiness, togetherness, love and joy. Your expectations would be around that to have your wishes fulfilled. But it's based on the idea of communicating freely with this individual. So it's almost like you're saying, you know, I'm getting on with my life, but if only we could communicate freely and honestly, we could really kind of sort this thing out. Around your hidden aspects, though, it's saying, well, the situation is about being very careful, being very cautious, being very tactical, and having a game plan. But around that, what you'll find coming in at some point is loss and lack, because this person really isn't invested in you with that Six of Pentacles in the reverse. What could happen for some of you guys, though? I feel somebody's going to have a change of mind. Seven of Swords, Six of Swords in the reverse. Because around that change of mind, it will be around their feelings, the Page of Cups. And that's because, yeah, they want a, another emotional connection with you. They want to connect up again, Two of Cups. Possibly even meet up again with the Two of Cups energy. Meet of cup, Two of Cups is not just about emotional connection. It's about dating, meeting up, having a drink, having a chat, all of that stuff. The overall outcome is, I feel somebody is deceiving you. The situation is a deceiver, the King of Swords in the reverse. And around that deception, it's something to do with the family, or it's something to do with money, or it's something to do with building this relationship. But it's because of the Eight of Swords, this person's confused, or they feel their hands are tied. And what is that about? Well, the first thing that the Tarot said was something about them rejecting you would mean that their potential would be cut in terms of coming back because this is rejection page of cups reversed five of swords often represents where we're cutting things out and this is about a return with the six of swords in the reverse so they think that if they cut you out they're kind of a little bit restless i think that this person's being very deceptive here in terms of perhaps the marriage or the union or wanting to uh, build a life with you because they are very frustrated and they're frustrated that if they reject you here you will cut out their any chance if they reject you completely 100% for good, then they will cut out any chance of ever coming back again. And that's because they know that at some point you're going to heal with the Five of Cups in the reverse and release the situation with the Ten of Swords. And also, and that's because they've been lazy, Page of Pentacles possibly in communicating or showing their feelings with that Queen of Cups in which they might have been very withdrawn with the Strength card. So they know that if they push you 100% far, really far, this might have happened with this person before, 
but I think that for some of you guys this person will be back this person will be back but they're back for I don't know what their game is but they've got a game plan okay they release but they don't like the idea that you're getting on with your life here Gemini they don't like the idea of that they would like to see you down on your knees because they know that if you'd be down on your knees sad crying depressed then they know that they can still come back but they know that as long as you're strong within yourself Gemini that they know that there's no chance for them to come back they know that once you've released them and let them go with that five of cups in the reverse and the ten of swords in the reverse there's no chance for them to come back at all so they're still trying to keep their options open with you I feel here I think somebody's definitely still trying to keep their options open because they know that if they push you too far and you just say fuck you I forget about you completely they must know you rather well then they must know you very well because you're putting up some form of a shield you're putting up some form of a face to them you're showing yourself as a queen of pen cup pentacles and as a seven of cups in the reverse in the present you're showing yourself of all these things but this is what's really going on here and they kind of know it but they can't be 100% sure they're not 100% certain so I definitely want to keep their op options open around you be careful of that because I feel that their intentions and their agenda for you is all about themselves and it's not for you they need a safe haven they need somewhere that they can lay their hat every once in a while but I don't believe that they're in it really for a partnership with you it's for their own agenda this person has agendas and they're playing some form of game universe spirit what's the advice that you have for gemini on this reading what's the advice that you have for gemini on this reading show me yeah reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life that just came out here but it's telling you to free yourself it's time to take back control of your life it's saying there's a reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life but it is time to free yourself and it's time to take back control of your life okay so that's what the information is from the angels yeah this person wants to come back in they let you go and they they could have wrecked you but you didn't gemini you stood your ground and you picked yourself up but that's what they don't like this person's a narcissist I feel and this person's very damaged as an individual and if you're not careful I think for anyone that it resonates with you guys this person potentially could end up really damaging you and I think and you've already tried to stop the damage you've already tried damage limitation in this reading you're trying to uh, uh, you're trying to halt the amount of damage that this person could cause to you so be very careful of that be very careful indeed because if you allow this person back in remember I feel that this person has a hidden agenda and it's all about them themselves they want to make sure they keep their options open because they don't really want you to succeed they want you to be crying over them and mourning them and you're doing it here really but you're very good because you know what the saying is fake it until you make it so if you've got to put that face on carry on because at some point whatever face you're putting on to the world is going to become the true self so carry on doing it if you let this person back in you're fucked I think in this reading okay I really think that you're screwed if you really if you let this person back in it's it's they've got an agenda and it's a subtle agenda it's really really subtle they're they're like a snake subtle 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 okay subtle be careful of this individual you're doing ever so well carry on that track all right guys i'll see you in your generals take care love you loads babes Bye bye